Hi, I'm Josh Olson, and you're watching Trailers from Hell. Uh, Reese Witherspoon is absolutely one of our great movie stars. She's a terrific actress, sharp producer, and has a really great eye for material. And if there was ever a hope in hell that she'd want to work with me, I'm about to blow it just for the sake of a commentary on the Trailers from Hell website. That's how much I'm dedicated to this place, folks. So here we go. I think the movie we're about to talk about contains one of her greatest performances. I really do. She shows us stuff in this movie I've never seen in any of her other performances. It's just incredible. This is Matthew Bright's jaw-dropping masterpiece, Freeway. Freeway is an astonishingly funny, dark, cynical, and yet somehow sincere film. It's about a poor young woman living in Los Angeles, escaping a horrible life with her terrible, terrible mother, played by a brilliant and grotesque Amanda Plummer, and an even worse stepfather, the usually charming but here really terrifying Michael T. Weiss. Vanessa, played by Reese Witherspoon in one of her very earliest roles, runs away from home only to have her car break down on the freeway. And it's there that she meets a serial killer, played with increasingly odious power by Kiefer Sutherland in one of his finest performances. I, I'm sorry, I just always like him best as a villain. Don't, don't hate me, Kief. Their scenes in his car are going to make your flesh crawl, and the moment when she finally bests him has all the explosive power and catharsis of the greatest cinematic heroic triumphs and villainous comeuppances. And that's only the first half of the movie, because he's not dead yet, and she goes to jail for shooting him. Freeway dives deep into poverty and race and crime and sexual abuse and drug addiction in ways mainstream Hollywood films rarely, if ever, do. For starters, it's very aware of class, a thing most Hollywood movies pretend doesn't even exist. But for all that, Freeway is also screamingly funny. And no matter how deep the shit Vanessa is sinking in gets, we never pity her because the force of her personality is so strong, we end up sharing her insane confidence in herself. Here's the best worst thing I can say about this movie and all these characters and their performances. You can smell them. All of them. 